This video is intended for a mature audience. If you are a child, please get moving. All right. So, you may be wondering why I need to put a disclaimer up on a video about how to make tea. Well, you see, this just isn't any regular tea. This is yerba mate. All right, this tea, this tea is delicious. This tea is sacred. Or something like that in like South America. I don't know. It's good. It's uh, unique. You can get it in tea bags, but that's lame. So I'm going to show you what to do. Uh, first off, there are a few things you need. You need your yerba mate, your tea. You need your uh, gourd cup, which is called a mate, I believe. Uh, this one's just made out of wood, and I enjoy it. And you also need this metal filter straw, which is known as a bombilla, or bombija, depending on where you're from. I don't know the answers to these things. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your bombilla, you're going to put this aside. You don't need it right now. What you need is you need your gourd, your cup, and your tea. Now, you can either uh, go ahead and scoop it out, or you can just shake a bunch in. I'm making a little bit of a mess here, but it's okay, it's all natural. Now, you might be thinking, Joe, what the heck? You're putting a lot in there. And you know what? You're right. I am putting a lot in here. I'm putting in about, oh my gosh, sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. You're gonna put in about two thirds full of your gourd. You want it to be uh, pretty full before you go ahead and do this. Now let's see how bad I changed that view around. I don't know. Yeah, I'm here. So uh, you got your stuff. I actually had a little bit too much in there. There you go. So if you look from the side, my mouth is coming up to about here, which is a little more than half the way it works. Between a half and two thirds. Now, before you go just throwing water into this thing, you have to prepare it. So to do that, you're gonna take your hand, put it right over top, flip your hand, and shake it like a maraca. You hear that? Oh yeah, what you're doing is you're getting all of the fine dustiness of the tea to come to the top and your thick leaves to go to the bottom. I just sprayed it all over the place. Get your thick leaves to go to the bottom. When you're done, it's a, after a little bit, you know, turn it. And you're gonna see your hand has all of this uh, delicious dust on it. Uh, careful, little, get on your pants and whatnot. Um, what you're looking for here is to make a little you want to make a little uh, slope in there. You want to make a little slope so that your tea is at an angle to the gourd. Because what you're going to do is you're going to use that space, that space right here. It's all super dusty because I have a mix of uh, Cruz de Malta and a mix of so it's Cruz de Malta and uh, Canarius right now, and the Canarius is so thin. Uh, I had to cut it with the thicker stuff. Uh, so what you're going to do, <clears throat> before you grab hot water, you're going to grab some cold water. Alright? And you're going to put that cold water in the open side of your tea. Alright. And what's that, what that's going to do, wham, is that's just going to sit there on the tea and it's gonna get absorbed up in. I hope you can see that. My camera work is not the greatest. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this rest for a while. And to do that, I just pop it up on the bombilla itself. So I lay the bombilla down and prop it up. And as you can see, that water is getting 
soaked up in there real good. Real good. All right. Push this back. It's not centered. Oh my gosh. Maybe down the road I'll get better at this. But anyway. It's absorbed in now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it, still keeping that angle of the T going from top to bottom. You want to keep that gap. I think the mailman might be here. And you're going to take your bombilla, you're going to put your thumb over the mouth. What you're going to do is you're creating a vacuum here. You're going to put it in the open side, push it down, tilt your cup up, push your spoon across. So when you go in straight, you're going to scoop and get a little lift, you're making a little pocket underneath the uh, leaves there. And now, now you can get your hot water. And your goal is to not get your top side of your leaves wet. So you're just going to pour it in. I like to pour it right on the bombilla. because that keeps the water going into that open side. And as you can see, we're all, uh, we're full, wham. So now these first, now you might think this is a lot of tea for one cup. Well, it's not one cup, it's actually many. You'll probably drink, whoa my gosh, I almost dropped it. You'll, you'll probably drink uh, a liter to two liters out of this one gourd. Man, that's good. So, it's already gone. Uh, for the, re the reason you do the first, the, the cold water, or like the room temperature water, is so you're getting the leaves wet. So when you put your hot water on, you're not just scalding it and making it super bitter and disgusting. The first few cups are gonna be bitter anyway. That is smooth. Some people say it's, it's an acquired taste because it's very earthy. Uh, I think if you like getting the fuck outside, you're gonna enjoy it. Kinda tastes like grass. If grass was delicious. Well, that's how to make a cup of mate. I'm Joe. This is the bungalow. And that was my tail.